Huh. What the heck is this? Get that out of here. This is my step ladder, and I really ruined my real ladder. So, why are we sitting here? Well, we just came back from our local dollar store, and we bought 10 of the weirdest items that we could find. Really? Yeah. I didn't pick weird items, I just picked random items that might be weird. So, anyway, first item, let's go. What do we got? We got a remote control. We got a toy helicopter to and to control it, you use your hand to pull it up and down. All right, so let's get it out of the package. Oh. Okay, does it work? Well, we need to charge it. How do you know? Because we used it earlier. Did we? Yeah. I... You did? Yeah. And now the battery is there? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that before we started? Because then I would have actually charged it. Well, I guess we need to charge it now. We'll use this at the end of the video. Nobody charged it after using it when they weren't supposed to. Geez, I don't have any glass on. I can talk too small. What the? So, as far as I'm concerned, don't buy it because your kid will abuse it before you even make your video. Okay, so on charge. Alright, next item. We got tennis balls of gum with liquid filling inside. Check this out. So they do look like tennis balls. They in fact do look like rough tennis balls. They don't bounce like tennis balls, so they do bounce. Oh man. Lemon flavor. Ugh. Oh, what is the lemon flavor? Oh, there's the liquid. It's stiff. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Don't buy this. You can get better gum out of the 25 cent machine. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, tennis balls. You should not buy this. Throw it trash! Do I have to chew this the whole time? No. Just spit it out. Oh, I don't know if I want to. Alright, next time. Ready? Good job. Okay, so I picked camouflage duct tape because if I have to fix something with duct tape, I don't want to see the repair, so the repair will be completely camouflaged. Alright. even see the joint because it's camouflaged. Oh, it'll work. I promise you it'll work. Probably not as good as flex tape. That happened. Yeah, that's, that's not good. So far it's not so good. It wants to curl up on its up, down and down. Pull heart! Pull heart! 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 
Yeah, you that's... You weren't fully you were supposed to go flying. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Yeah, that one Next works. item, please. Hi! Whoa! Yeah, so, camouflage, that okay. Two thumbs up for me. Why did Theo have... Oh. Oh, what's that? A piece of poo? I don't even want to... It's Mr. Hanky, Christmas food. Fun shaped that uh, I don't even want to. Let's let's just open it. Uh, it even feels like heavy, like a piece of poo. It's a piece of poo. And it's whoa, God! It's like sand. Oh really? Oh, that's just. <laughs> There's sand in there now. It's sand. Yeah, it is. 
you want my snotty tissue? No, I'm good. You're not good at catching. We need to hire no another member of our crew. Yep. Oh. Alright, so. Okay, so it's a gummy pizza, just like you said. Um, how much did you spend on this garbage pizza? One dollar. A whole dollar? Yeah. Oh, really? We need... Oh, I got the So, what's all this? Sign language? Seven bucks for a gummy? Seven pieces? For a whole dollar. Wow. What kind of pizza is it? Got the sign of the Italy flag, so we figured it. Yeah, there's seven pieces. Should be eight. Dollars how do you cut? How do you cut a pizza into seven pieces? Okay, <laughs> you cut. That's just not possible. Okay, cut there. Right. And cut there. No. Nope. See how that cut goes around the corner? No. Oh. Right. That's a straight cut. That's a straight cut. That's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seven freaking slices, okay? How do you make a pizza with seven slices? Come on now. All right, let's just try it. Yeah, now that we got our COVID hands all over it. It smells like bubblegum. It does kind of. And it tastes like bubblegum, too. Like bubblegum ice cream. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no. No. Do not, do not buy this. This is absolute crap. Do not buy this. It's pretty gnarly. I'm still gonna eat it. Come on, I don't wanna waste it. Okay, that's enough of that for me. Yeah, throw it in the trash. I'm not a fan. Next item. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> Next time we hire a crew member, we're gonna hire somebody who just does sports. What is this? I don't know, but try and get it out of there. Well, how are you supposed to get out of there? I know. So, Wait. did you read the package? What's it supposed to do? It's a uh, barbecue grill mat. And what's it supposed to do? It's supposed to stop all your bits and pieces going in between the bars. Okay, so we have a barbecue mat tapis. Tapis means a little curtain. Yeah. That's an in Inuit for all you Americans who don't know that. Um, Canada's official second language is English. Oh, look at this! <sighs> it comes with two! Okay, I can't read that without glasses. Betty Crocker. So, it's pretty durable. Let's test it with. Hey, do you think it could make armor? Maybe. Well, first, if we're going to make it into armor, we're going to need How strong is it? There we go. Yeah, it can stand up to a poo. Yeah, that, that's, that's how you know it's strong. But there is something way stronger than a piece of poo. Now, grab it. I don't know. If you're going to try and stab it or something. What the heck was that? I don't know. Are you gonna, what, are you going to get the cat's claws over here? Or what? No, no, no. So, the one thing that is more powerful and a piece of poop is the sleek and tender tenderonis. Like, this or is just fabric. Like, you can see it's stitched together. Well, let's try this. No, oh, why? You gotta cut it right down the middle. Wow. Yeah, well, how do you think they cut it into squares? I don't know. Just look. Not super strong, but. Okay. I, I, I say it's super Okay, durable. so no, it won't stand up to a knife on the grill, but... I think it would your, be good. Your tongs and everything will will be fine on it. Yeah, and now that this one's all wrinkled, um, the fat should cool in it fairly well. Right? Or maybe it's fabric to let the fat out. You know, we're going to have to do a separate review on this later, and we'll let you know. So this is uh, unknown. We'll do a separate video on that. So far, I say buy it, because it seems pretty durable to me, even though they have to cut them probably with scissors in a factory. So, John cutting with scissors here doesn't really sway my opinion. It wouldn't be scissors in a factory, it would be a machine. What? Well, with blades. Thank you very much. 
Okay, this is not famous movie quotes game called Speak Out. I don't know anything about it. I don't have my glasses on as usual, so I can't read the package. I don't know anything. Yeah. I still... Oh. Who needs the sweet contender tenderomies? Don't make fun of me with my old man glasses. Yeah. Alright. Put in your mouthpiece and read the wacky phrases. Oh, you gotta wear a mouthpiece. Rona! And they're selling this during a pandemic. Shh. If you, if you talk about coronavirus, you'll talk about What you'll get the are you? Just don't touch anything else. So, what game am I paying you? Here's the mouthpiece on the bed. Yes. I'll need you scissors. Alright, we'll play a quick game of this. Uh, okay, how do you play? I have to wear this and I have to read that and you have to guess what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to read it down. I'm going to give you one to read. No. It won't work. Look at the dirt. Dude. Oh, there it is. I got it. If you're dumb like me, you, you're not going to be able to use this. Oh, okay. Here. Open your mouth. Expert idiot 
most of the way. Okay, recently time. upgraded to professional. You know, I'm on the pro tour now. So, you know, I'm All right, there you go. Mike. <laughs> usage of the product. And it's simply named bowling. Awesome. And we got two extra pins. What's two extra pins.
into the field. Birdie by the top. Better. Do it straight up. There you go. So I'm gonna try the $3 Pro Auto Tire Shine from Dollarama. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that looks nice. That really actually does shine them right up. 
I really like the look of that. Hey, how does it, it even cleans the, uh, the rims a bit. Look at that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Two thumbs up for me. All right, now I'm gonna try it. Yep, looks pretty nice. That does look pretty good, man. Yeah. I like that. You're dripping down the side there, though. Yeah. And it's mostly like... tire shine, not ring shine. Yeah. But I just sprayed it on there anyway. But, so, yeah, that is good. So, Pro Auto, $3 tire shine from Dollarama. Thumbs up. So, all those products were good. Ish. This definitely wasn't. So that. But we still have one more product to test. Now we've put a little bit of a charge in this. Apparently it wasn't even charging because it didn't get plugged in properly. So, you know, that in itself is a big drawback. So I can't even tell where the switch is. You want to turn it on, guys? Fly it around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on. Okay, make it go. Back. Okay. What's going on? I just want to go. Riddler. So. Uh, okay, yeah. can we try and get it to fly in front of a camera? Okay, make it go on again. Turn off in front. Turn it back on again? Alright, yeah. Okay, how come it's not doing anything? Maybe it already died. Maybe. Maybe we killed it. So that's a fail. Okay, three dollars. What do you want? Yeah. Turn it off. But this tire shine stuff, day number one steak sauce right there. This this weapon is the best. Oh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, but it's not like I'm hurting myself here. I'm hurting myself here. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just going. Pretty much. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. These. They were okay. I'm not really good in badminton, but if you were better, it would probably be good. But like what my dad said, they're like way too heavy, the birdies. Well, these things are way heavier than what you would normally play with, so you gotta really whack them. Plus, these rackets are not the most aerodynamic. The netting is thick and heavy. It's got this kind of stuff. It, it's got a lot of resistance to it, so you really gotta pump it to get it going anywhere. I have a feeling it would wear you out fairly head. quick. These weren't really good. Yeah. Um, Don't throw Mr. Hanky. If you want to keep the busy, the kids busy picking a shuttlecock off, off the ground all day, get them this. Yeah. But, there's one more product that we have. This Harry Potter Pez Dispenser. And I already ate all the Pez, but you can go check out the TikTok that I made right here. Uh, if it's not there, I'm pointing out nothing. If not, it'll be in the description. Go check out my TikTok. Go follow. Man, I don't know about this thing. It's just... It's good as a weapon. You know, it's it a fidget right? toy. Do you remember those wrestlers that used to stretch? Yeah, stretch Armstrong kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had my brother had a whole puzzle one. Oh yeah, it's also a grabber. Don't stare! Maybe you think I could grab that. No, you're just going to make it pull. Nice. You're gonna pop it! Wow, that thing just grabs the whole table. Yeah, baby. Stop! And it's only a synthetic piece of poop. Alright, so hey, that was a bunch of junk from the dollar store. Should you buy it or not? We gave you our opinions. Tell us if we were right in the comments and check out our next video next time. Uh, anything else to say? Uh, yeah. Bye. I know what you forgot to say. Like and subscribe.
That's right. Later.